good morning and welcome to my channel Sharon here um, what I'm doing today is a challenge by Enchanted Dream 71 she it's a every two weeks two Mondays in a month and next one is for the 13th of February is when you it's an open collaboration anybody can join in and you put a video up on February the 13th and then two weeks later at the end of next week's video she will put up what the theme is for the one two weeks later now the one for next for the when this comes out on monday the 13th is uh belly bands and you need to shop your stash and i think the hashtag is shop your stash 2023 i'm not sure i will have to check that um it will be on the video on the description below anyway the other thing um i made these oh i've got another one here i made these a few years ago and somebody was using them as like you just put bits of paper on and then you just sew down up down up use them as pages or on um, edge edges of pages i forgot i'd even done them and so I found these so I thought I would use this one and make a belly band so all I'm going to do is actually cut up here I know I'm cutting some of that off off of there but not a lot I could do about that <laughs> Um, because of where it is I might actually trim that a bit and then I want to put it on a page actually I think what I might do is get my ruler and just tear down the edge the idea was using up your scraps and your book pages you used everything up yeah and now if I get a page not sure if this is be out yet or not and I'm going to put it there so I'm actually going to be cutting off down here I could use that for a cluster that's that Turn that off there and then I'm going to get I think I'm going to get walnut stain and stain it up I don't know whether it needs to be done because I don't know what's actually going to show once I've done it but I don't like it so white <laughs> um, so I'm just going to another bit come off this is more the base for what I want to do rather than actually being able to see any of this. Um, anyway, I hope you're all well. I am, we're still getting on with the house. Um, right, one of the other things I'm gonna do, oh, sorry about that. Let's move this a bit, that's better is i've got this pink satin i don't know if you remember from my um shabby chic journals i've been making but i make ruffles with my spatula so the idea was i was going to put a ruffle down here so i'll get on with that Okay, so I've got the ruffle on. Um, the next thing I was thinking, let's just put that away. Shopping my stash was 
<clears throat> I saw these the other day. I thought these were so cute. That's paper, that's card. I thought I'd put these on. What else have I got? I want the card ones because the paper ones are. Oh. Yes, that goes with the pink roses, doesn't it? So again, I think I'm going to use walnut stain. So yes, we're getting on with the house. Um, it's a vintage photo. <laughs> no, nope, there. We're getting on with the house slowly, as usual. Um, porch still not finished. We'll get there. But, oh, all the plasterboard is up, so that's something, isn't it? <laughs> it's nearly a room. Now we've got a concrete all around the edges and then put all the tiles down. And then the whole house will be sealed. Oh, I got up yesterday morning to have a shower. And there was a creature in on the shower wall. Not very big. I don't know if any of you know, but baby cockroaches. It was about the size of a baby cockroach. Ugh horrible things but this was sort of a yellow brown with a bulbous body so I would imagine some kind of spider we're quite lucky here we don't have um you only have one poisonous snake it's just the thought anyway I thought I'll go and take a picture and then I'll get rid of it and uh, by the time I'd found my camera uh, my phone and then I'd got a glove to get rid of it it had gone so I don't know where it's ended up in the bathroom we have got some bare brick in there at the moment while we're fitting the washing machine so maybe it's there this spider Blah. I don't know if it's a spider or what it was as I say it was about that long which doesn't sound very big and it was probably more frightened of me but I don't like them now the other thing I've got is some paper flowers so I was thinking something like that in the middle. I don't know, is that too big? Um, beige one, too pale. Oh, I've got one of these. How about that? I like that. The other option is I've got some material flowers. But I'm not sure I've got, I've got this there. No, I think I like that. Even though it blends in a bit, I like that. I'm going to go with that. Don't know where I got half this stuff from. It's been in a drawer. I've actually sorted it all out now, so I start using it. So that one goes there. So that's my first belly band. Maybe I'll put a bit of ink down the side there. I'm making two so now on to the next one my next belly band is to go in my Frida Kahlo journal that I'm making for my friend um, I've lost the middle this is supposed to go in there up there so I was thinking I could go down this page this is a sheet that of paper that I didn't use make this one so I need to cut that off at the side there. I thought this would make quite a good belly band. I'm thinking this piece there would make a very good side pocket as well. So down there and then I want to put a window in there or do I use the bigger window? I'm worried about the integrity at the side, so I think no. I think I'll use this one. I'll die cut a window out of there. I'll be back in a moment. I've cut the square out and I've also backed it on some white card as well. And then I've got some cellophane, I don't know if you can see that, to go on here. So for that, I'll use the block or Fabri-Tac. Um, 
if that's what you use i find that's the best thing to stick the cellophane and i'll just go round the edges here like that i just put that on there so it doesn't ooze out anywhere and then once that's dry i will go back round and glue this down properly now the other thing i want to do is put a pocket on it as well um and i've got some more papers here that i haven't used um these are a bit big oh they'd be good as a corner pocket wouldn't they well that would be good as a tuck on a page if i cut that out oh i like that <laughs> that's going to be a side tuck i think i don't know about the rest of it or i could put it on a page cut that down there then cut this out as a tuck mm, got some ideas there not sure what i'm doing with this one but i'm thinking this could go along there i think that's the best thing with this and then i could also use the rest of it as a um as a pocket in, in the journal maybe i'm just going to put this probably about bring it down a bit to about there so mark that off there that down there seeing the mark and then I think also I will put a small notch in it now do I put it onto some card or will it be okay on there so I've got to find a journal card to go in it as well Hmm. Now I've got this here, and there is a hmm. I might have to trim that down a bit, but that would be quite nice in there, wouldn't it? There is a smaller one there no quite like that one and what else have I got here no I think that's too plain I'm definitely thinking that one there are some lots of odds and sods that's too big in this kit um, that's too big no, I think I'm going to go with that one, with this one. Yeah, I may have to trim it down a bit. Do I put that, mate, put that on a piece of card? Not sure. I don't think so. I think it will be okay on there. So I'll just do a very small notch in here. And then just glue down the sides still haven't looked at this glue pot whether it's what's going on with it do I round the corners no I think I'll keep them straight I will now I'm using this vintage photo because I'm actually not sure what inks I'm going to be using with this journal I haven't as you see not even got the signature sewn in or done anything yet I've just cut everything out so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in here see it's just not coming out I don't know I've cleaned it all out I have tried that but that doesn't seem to work definitely going to have to have a go at it today I think right now I'll put that about 
travers. There. Okay, I've uh, backed the tag in tea dye paper and vintage photo around the edges. Now I felt that was too plain, so I thought I would put a stamp. They come, the kit comes with some stamps. So I thought I'd put a stamp on. But then I thought it's too much, it's too many of her, of Frida, even though that's sort of more of a cartoony character type picture than a photo like these are. So then I thought, I know, I've got boho trim. That's the whole point. I was going to use some of this. So I've got this there. I've got a rainbow one with gold thread there, which is actually quite thick. Or I've got a completely gold one, which would sort of go like that. I'm veering towards the black. <laughs> I know it's going to take up quite a bit of space, but she was quite a dark person. She had a lot of trauma in her life. Polio, a young age, and then at 18, a accident and ended up um, major operations most of her life. So I'm not too sure. I'm thinking in her paintings, even though they were beautiful colours, some of it was quite dark. I'm thinking the black I'm going to go with. And I think this was a very kindly given to me by K.R. Shotwell. Of, um, if you watch her YouTube channel, she does some lovely uh, videos. And I was struggling to get boho um, type ribbons and trims and she's very kindly sent me some so I think I'm going to use this and I'm going to cut it off there and I'm going to put this on and then I will oh it's got to be this one that I've not put upside down um, trim off the edges of it once I've got it down Actually, thinking about it, I think I will probably do it on the paper. It will be easier. Either we... Does everybody have these problems with glue? I'm constantly having problems. And it is straight, yes. So these are my belly bands for the challenge with Enchanted Dreams um, 71. Why don't you pop along to our channel and have a look. So these are my two belly bands. Um, yeah, I'm glad I went with that in the end. I like that. Maybe you don't, but I do. <laughs> you could be shouting at me. <laughs> um, You'll see what I put behind this once I've got the belly band in the journal. I'll show you. This one, I'm not sure what I'll be using it for, but um, I am thinking of another shabby journal as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. And um, please pop along to Laurie's channel and join in the open collaboration. Thanks a lot. Speak to you all again soon. Bye.